so the kid is Zed and Rita's, right? Yeah. So the kid starts to have these tendencies. Oh, and that's Rita's awesome. like, all right, let's do it. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> Welcome to the Legacy of Nerd. My name is Daniel. And today I am at Dragon's Lair here in San Antonio at the Alamo Ranch location because we got one of our most evil villainesses of the 90s here. Rita Repulsa, Carla Perez. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited that oh, you're here. Oh, thank you. Her Me line too. has been going good all day. She's been meeting the fans, signing autographs, taking pictures. Yeah, you a lot got, of fun. You got an awesome <laughs> little setup here of all amazing pictures as well. Thank you. So what's it like to be part of a franchise that has gone so strong for 30 years and being such a big influence in that and being Rita Repulsa? It's an amazing experience. I mean, for me, thinking back in retrospect, it's I would have never guessed that Power Rangers would have come to this platform in you know all these years. Hmm. It's just amazing, and it's the best feeling. I just what's it like? It's just amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you were Reed Repulsa back in the season two, three, and then you had all Turbo Zio yeah. and in space also. Yeah. So you were, I mean, you know, we had the original incarnation, which was a Japanese version. Yeah. You were our younger, <laughs> uh, potion, young-infused Rita. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was it like being on set at the time, like going through that sort of the Power Rangers boom that was at that time? Well, at that time, um, it was a little different because when I first started was back in like 93, 94, mm -hmm. and Power Rangers had just come out. So it was a big children's show, but it wasn't uh, at, well, at least we didn't know. I didn't know that it was at the point it was already at because mm -hmm. the kids just like took to it. And um, I had a great time. I just didn't realize what, how big of a show it was, it was mm -hmm. and it was getting to be. How yeah. did you get the role of Rita? Oh gosh, that's interesting. Cause I originally went to an audition for Shuki Levy for his movie he was creating. I don't even think it, came out it ever came out oh, okay but um after i auditioned he had called my agent so i could come and do a screen test for a character he had on a show he was already doing and that was rita repulsa so the next couple of days i went out there and i did a little screen test and he hired me right there on the spot that's so amazing it was, it was like the best thing that could have ever happened <laughs> did you have to wear the whole get up with the screen yes test? so you a did? screen test is a little different than audition it's it's um, you get in there a little early to put the costume on, mm -hmm. and then uh, he made me look at some videos of Super Sentai where okay. um, it was Bandora at the time, right? Yeah. A, a lot of videos of her, and I just kind of picked up what her acting and the things she was doing with her uh, body movements, and then he said just put a little spin on it too. So I made her a little more like comedic. Yeah, and he, he liked that little spin on it. So that's that awesome. Great. I mean, I remember watching as a kid, and you know, they said Rita came back and she looked younger. But for us, like, I don't, I didn't really see a difference because you, right. you embody Rita so well. Well, thank you and for I, that. I, mean, I appreciate it. Looking back now, like, oh yeah, like I'm a doll. I can see different faces now. <laughs> yeah. Easily. But you were so Rita to me. Thank you. During those early years, so I, thank you so, so much. much. Fun. Do you have a favorite memory from your time on Power Rangers, like on set, or a favorite Rita moment that you want to talk about? Oh. Gosh, you know, there were so many because that set was like, I, it was just out of this world because, you know, what it was, it was on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I would say the wedding was something that I really enjoyed doing, especially because we were just having a good time. We were dancing and laughing <laughs> and all the monsters were there yeah. and you couldn't beat it. It was just fun. That's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have a favorite time you remember with the other cast and crew members? That you can think of oh well with us well the rangers and rita we really didn't get to film that much so every okay. time we did film together was like you know we meet up in the forest or in the rocks or exactly you know yeah. something like that that was always a special moment because really we didn't film together yes yeah. you know she's always in the moon looking down on earth true but when we had those little moments that was a fun time awesome awesome yeah. so you actually also starred in Joseph Kahn and Eddie Shankar. Oh, yes. Reimagining yes, yes. <laughs> of Power slash Rangers, I think it's called now. Back then it was just Power Rangers, but I think they had to change it for legal reasons. What, how did that start and how did that all come about? That is a really interesting story. Um, so, Shuki Levy, I mean, Shuki Levy, I'm sorry, 
um, Joseph Khan and Adi Shankar called me um, out of the blue and they were saying that they have a, a certain fan film they really wanted to do. At the th that time, I didn't know what fan films were, mm. but they explained to me they wanted to redo the Power Rangers as them older after the world apparently spits them out and don't they don't want them anymore and what they what they were up to oh that's way yeah so i, I just hearing that i was like wow what I a great the, the, seeing that ad explained like that i totally understand yeah that. and i was like what a great concept you yeah. know what happened to the power rangers the original power rangers and i, was, I just signed up right away because i wanted to do it and so um it was amazing because it was like we were we were filming a, a whole length feature film. His production was out of his world. It was so good. Yeah, I mean, it was James Vanderbeek, Katie yeah, Sackhoff. Yeah, like, yeah, they were heavy hitties some there. Some great actors, right? And um, I was really proud to be in it. It was really fun and to, to see Rita in an even more like evil and just- Murderous. Murderous way was <laughs> yeah. like, whoa, she just took it all the way there. Yes. I, I hope the fans aren't too offended by it, but you know, it's fun, so. And everyone's older now. Yes. So, you know, you're not little kids. That you're not scared audience, anymore, yeah. okay? No, I agree. And, yeah. and then when you come out at the end, and, you know, it's been you the yeah. entire time. And then you, you, I think you did the voice this time yeah. for Rita. And it was just like, oh, my God. I, like, and I I saw that. I was like, oh, whoa. That just took me back when they wrote that in because I didn't see it coming either when I was reading the script. Yeah. It's like, wow. I That's hope cool. no one else sees it coming. I didn't see it coming. It was, it was, it was like, really, really cool. Yeah. Have you heard of them talking about possibly doing more to that? Well, um, I know at the time it came out, um, Saban did not want it to go yeah. forward. So I'm not sure what the um, legal um, aspects were of it. With Hasbro and everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, at the time it was Saban, right? Yes. So um, I'm sure they weren't able to go on with for a feature film because that's okay. what I think we wanted to do is a short film, fan okay. film, and maybe in the hopes make it into a feature film. Okay. But I think with all the legal aspects, we couldn't do that. But so. there was sort of talk about making that, expanding that a little bit. Absolutely. That was all hopeful, oh, hopeful thoughts, you know, but you know. That's still a really cool what if story. Yeah. What if, it. right? Right. <laughs> that that's amazing. Cool. Um, so we just had Robo Rita debut in Once and Always. Um, Hasbro called you and they say, Carla, we want you to write a Rita story. We don't care. It could be a prequel. Whoa. It could be a sequel, a future version of it. What would you do with Rita? Oh, my God. Great question. By the way, I love that they have that um, 30, 30 anniversary, anniversary special. It was really good. But um, if I had the chance, I would jump on that right away. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. And I don't know because Rita – in space she becomes good at the end True. right so maybe i would pick it up from say okay i guess it's 20 years later uh -huh. 20 years or so years later you see her as still kind of good but maybe the married life and being a normal person has gotten to her maybe she's oh. in a midlife crisis oh, and all of a sudden okay. something comes out on her and she does something evil and then she has maybe a kid and her kid's acting out and so the kid is Zed and Rita is, right? Yeah. So the kid starts to have these tendencies. Oh, And Rita's awesome. like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> and then it all goes back. That would be awesome. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Like a Rita just slowly I mean, they, slipping back into you know, her darkness? Yeah, because they, they were yes. doing the domesticated life. They have a kid, right? Yes. And all of a sudden the kid's like acting out and getting these tendencies. And it's just bringing Rita back to, oh, my God. What am I feeling here? It's evil. Hasbro. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a great idea, Hasbro. Hasbro, Just call listen. me. I'm ready to write that for you. You awesome. got my number. No. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you for taking time to talk to us. Uh, great meeting you. Uh, you also have some more appearances coming up. Wichita Falls, Wichita Falls in Texas uh, next weekend. Awesome. Yeah, the Comic Con there. Yes. So, Wichita Falls, make sure to go see Carla yes. Perez. Get your pictures, get your signatures, and then. Just get to chat with her. Maybe talk about her sequel here because it sounds amazing. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you again. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. I thank appreciate you. it too. Take care.